you need to keep up to date. So um, you might want to take a note of some of these. Um, landlord law is, of course, a great way to keep up to date. We now have a new website, which I'm going to be talking about in a moment, which is Landlord Law Services. Um, we now have a, a weekly bulletin rather than a monthly newsletter where we try and keep you up to date and tell you what's happening. And there's also um, a news blog. Um, I used to have a critical email service for critical news updates. I now have that on the news blog. There's a critical legal information part of that. So when there's a big change, I'll do a post there. So that's a way to keep up. The Landlord Law blog, which I've been writing with Ben Reeve Lewis for a frightening number of years, I think it's about 13, 14 years I've been doing it. Um, that also has a lot of stuff to keep you up to date. Also highly recommend the Nearly Legal website. That's a more lawyerly site. Um, it tries to do reports on all the new case law. A lot of it is not relevant to you because it'll be about social housing cases, but there, are a lot, there is a lot of stuff that's relevant for the private rented sector. That's run by Giles Peaker, who is part of Anthony Gold Solicitors, which is David Smith's firm. Um, also, of course, you can keep up to date with your associations. And of course, the two important associations are with us here today. The Residential Landlords Association, who are over there, and who are for landlords, and ARLA, which are over there, which is the Association for Letting Agents. So um, they will keep you up to date. The other website which I'd like to mention, which can keep you up to date, is Property 118, which is a, a, it's not a lawyer site, but it has a lot of legal information. And that's run by Neil Patterson, who is here today somewhere. So um, that's another website that you can use to keep you up to date. But make sure you keep up to date, because things, they are a-changing. <laughs>